bum 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 the Peter Dislike Show Bum 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 So this September will mark 20 years since I stopped drinking soda. Soda was one of the first lifestyle choices that I changed and I never looked back. Not one drop of soda. And the reason for that is that I discovered there's no such thing. I, I've never seen anybody successfully in the long term moderate a habit like soda, right? You don't see people smoke two cigarettes a day. And I learned this at a very young age, actually. When I was, um, I was 16 years old at the time, this was long before Netflix, long before YouTube. We had something called a television. And late at night, there would be all sorts of commercials and infomercials. And I noticed an interesting pattern. You would see infomercials about making money quickly, paying off debt. And then right after that, there would be something that you could buy with your credit card and charge it up, right? You got people going into debt and people going out of debt. You'd have infomercials about how to lose weight. And sandwiched in between that, you would have commercials about McDonald's, right? And um, I, I rarely saw an in-between case. Uh, and um, it just goes to show that the in-between is not very stable. It's going to go one way or the other. You might as well go in the right direction at that point, right? Anyways, of a quirk that I noticed as a young kid, just watching television, that um, you either come or you go. It's so weird, right? Uh, Everybody that I know of is either going into debt or getting out of debt. G getting into an unhealthy lifestyle or changing their... Half the half of your life you make mistakes and the other half you correct it, it seems like. I've never seen anybody maintain anything in between that.